guys, hey guys, hey guys, this is Vaughn, and welcome back to another episode of Building with Vaughn. <laughs> and, uh, you can probably tell what we are about to do by the groaning and moaning above us. I've been out here caving, looking for Lapis, heard the telltale signs of a bunch of angry zomberts, and finally, after a little bit of digging around, found the spawner. Have not broken into it yet. Wanted to do that with you guys on camera. I have not, on the other hand, found any lapis yet, which is really surprising. Honestly, uh, I am oh, a villager, or a zombie villager. I am really shocked that I have not found. I found diamonds. I've found emeralds because we're in an extreme hills biome. I've found iron, gold, lapis. No, I haven't found any lapis. Uh, coal, everything else I have found. Not found any lapis. So I'm hoping, if nothing else, that there might be some in this one of these chests. Uh, I've been searching long enough that I'm honestly kind of worried that there's a potential that for some reason lapis isn't spawning uh, because of the you know the terrain generation that I have done. So I want to double check to make sure that there's not something weird going on there. Uh, let's just block all this off real quick. I'll get that gold later. Let's see what's in the chests. Uh, a book would be nice, too. Two saddles, gunpowder, and some wheat. Not really a big deal there. More saddles, armor, name tag. Okay. String. I do now have enough string to make a bow because I killed a, sp a spider earlier. So that's good. Of course, I can't enchant it. Um... I don't know if it's worth it to get mossy now or not, because I'm pretty sure you can make it now. Uh, so, less important to me. <sighs> no, no lapis, though. Let's, uh, let's take the cordon to this place, just in case we need... This is kind of far from home, but just in case we need to come back for... Oh, I hear more zombies. Could be a double spawner, but I doubt it. Let's go get that gold, too. Uh, I'm, I'm running kind of low on food, so... I did just get some wheat, so I could make some bread, too. Uh... So I would like to go back upstairs, kill some of my chickens that I've got going, do a little bit of farming, uh, and just, you know, keep doing stuff off camera and empty out my inventory because it's getting a little bit full. As you guys can see, I've found a little bit of everything but lapis. So let's, I think, let's go home. We'll come back here. I'll probably do it off camera and, of course, bring you guys back if I find anything. But for the most part, uh, I think I'm going to just cut until I find some lapis, dang it. Haha, <laughs> at last, lapis. <laughs> uh, I spent forever down there caving and did not find any, so I thought, you know what, let's just, is that it? Let's just walk around up top and see if I can find any in that big mountain area where I found all those other ores, uh, because it's so exposed. Man, just one piece, huh? That sucks. You know, one of the cool things about, like, I just saw those diamonds, like, one of the cool things about being on single player is I don't feel obligated to get that right now how many pieces did we get five dang uh because nobody else is going to come on and take them because it's single player i'm the only one <laughs> that's ever going to see those diamonds so that's kind of cool uh i'm trying to not get as many diamonds now so that i can get hopefully a fortune or silk touch pick before i can get them all uh, anyway i'm going to keep doing that man these mountain ranges are just gorgeous i'm going to keep doing that looking for more lapis and I, I probably won't even bring you guys back for the other lapis that I find. I just wanted to show you that one. Woohoo! Yay! Back safe and sound in the old house. And I have expanded a little bit. A little bit more plants back here. Put one more row back here. And then I added some more reeds. Because, of course, the only way we're going to be able to, like, full enchant is to have a full set of bookshelves. I think you need 15 bookshelves, which is three reads per book and three books per shelf, so it's like 135 or something amount. It's a large amount of of reads that you need, and we only have 28 so far. Uh, that is, and we only have 11 leather too, so I really need to start a cow farm and uh, probably expand this even uh, even more. Uh, just because it takes so long to make everything. But it's enough to get us where we want to go. Because I just want to get one one thing enchanted. And of course we can enchant our armor without books. So I got 53 lapis overall. Still really difficult to find it. 
I guess I don't even need a book unless I want to enchant a book. Um, so this is, I haven't used the new enchanting system a whole lot, so I could get sharpness one or projectile protection. Well, so we could be assured of sharpness one. Now we have plenty of diamonds, so why don't we make ourselves a diamond sword? And we've got an almost brand new, look at that, 34 diamonds. We've almost got a brand new diamond pick, so I don't, I don't mind enchanting that. Sometimes I don't like enchanting, you know, my first pick, but I, I barely use this one. So let's see, what can we get on that? Sharpness one. Uh, or on breaking one. What could we get on the pick? Oh, I don't need 30 levels, do I? So do you even need bookshelves? I don't even know how this works anymore. So unbreaking one or efficiency one. Efficiency one is probably better. I don't mind just having efficiency one on a diamond pick. It's kind of lame, but I don't mind too much. Do we want to put just sharpness one? Smite one. Yeah, I don't really want any of that. What about our bow? Ooh, spooky noise. Power one, power one, power one, I guess. Let's go with power one. Cool. Now, what we can do is the book. See, if we get this power one. So, we'll get this power one book. And now, oh, we ha yeah, we have plenty of iron now. Uh, okay, not as much as I thought. But let's smelt all of this up. And we can make an anvil. And then we can combine those two and get a power two book. Uh, let's see what the sword is doing now. Sharpness one. Let's just go with that. Let's put all these things away. Uh, I guess I'll do some enchants on my armor, just some very basic stuff. I'll do that off camera, I think, uh, just because you guys don't need to see all that boring stuff. What I want to try to do next is let's get to the nether. Uh, we can pretty easily get... Yeah, I don't think there's anything that's keeping us from the nether right now other than obsidian. Uh, so I can make that. So I want to do that, and I want to get a little bit of quartz because that's... Oh, it's raining. I turned the volume off, or the, the weather off, because it was annoying me earlier. But I would like to get a little bit of quartz just to say that I got some. And maybe, because I do want to move out of this area, this little house. So I don't know that I'm going to make a full, um, like, round, circular, Dragon Ball Z house like I'm planning to make my village out of. But I wouldn't mind making a small one. So what I would like to do, maybe, is to make the, the bottom ring, you know, like the first block of rings out of quartz blocks, and then we'll fill the rest in with maybe cobble or something, and then I'll, I'll either replace it from trips to the nether, or once I go into creative mode at some point after, you know, getting all the achievements or whatever we decide, uh, then I will replace the cobble. Uh, but I would like to live out there, and I might as well... You know, oh, yeah, it's day now. Duh, <laughs> I slept. I might as well... I might as well just do it now, right? So, uh, I'm going to do some stuff off camera, and I will bring you guys back when I'm ready to go to the nether. Boom! Everything is coming up, Millhouse. I'm just checking outside. I don't know why. Uh, so, we've got pretty much everything done. Let me show you my armor. I got this one of just protection three, and then I got these at protection one each. Uh, I realized I combined it two protection one books to get a protection two and combined it with this. Probably should have gotten protection 2 on all of my armor, but whatever. Uh, we'll get it all up there eventually. Sword is at sharpness 2, efficiency 2. Uh, I just enchanted all of these. Uh, uh, low levels, power 2 bow. Nothing terribly exciting, but definitely better than we were. And as you can see, I have 20 pieces of uh, uh, obsidian in my inventory. And I made a little room over here. So we can just slap that down here and get started. I put the door on the room just because these things tend to attract pigmen. And I don't mind pigmen, but I would rather not deal with one, you know, just everywhere. So there's that. Uh, let's dump off a little bit of our stuff. Let's poke our heads in there. I'm not terribly worried about dying and losing everything. It's possible that that could happen because we just enchanted it all. But I'm not too worried about it. Um, we've got enough. I'm just basically, I'm going to stick my head in there. And I'm going to maybe see if I can find a little bit of quartz. And then we're just going to come back. I'm not going to try to do too much crazy stuff. Uh, but let's see where this puts us. Just want to get some quartz, okay, man? Okay? Mo mainly, I'm worried about ghasts. I mean, that's all anybody ever worries about in the nether anyway, right? Don't take too long downloading terrain, please. Ha! Oh my gosh! What? <laughs> okay, that's pretty cool. We spawned 
in a fortress. How cool is that? Okay, coordinates, because you know I'm going to lose this. How cool is that? I've never spawned in all of the years that I've played Minecraft. And look, it's a relatively safe corridor, too. I have never spawned in a fortress. And there's a ghasty. Uh, mob sounds are a bit loud. Mm, hostile creatures are at 100%, so yeah, that's why. Um, so I don't want to spend too much time in here, but this is great news in terms of... Oh, lag. What the heck? This is not a server. I don't know why I would be having lag. Okay, there we go. Alright, so basically what I just want to do, yeah, this is a nice little safe area. Grab some quartz, maybe some glowstone. I don't want to get too much quartz because, see, every piece of quartz that I get like this... What is with the nether lag? Every piece of quartz that I get like this is a piece of quartz that I'm not fortune... I'm not getting with fortune. And quartz is such a precious commodity anyway that you don't want to waste it, you know? You want to only get it when you have a fortune or silk touch pick. But since we are going to eventually... This lag is just unbelievable. Uh, since we are eventually going to be getting creative mode predominantly to get quartz so that I don't have to do this, this exact thing that I'm doing, oh, I gotta get out of my face, for a million years, I don't feel quite so bad. Bro, thanks. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. That little vein gave us, what, seven blocks? We're gonna need a lot more than seven blocks to get the base of our little build going here. Oh, I can't believe that we spawned in a fortress. Oh, there's some quartz right there. Um, I don't know why, like, it's funny. I can tell that I haven't played Minecraft in a while. Or I have played, but I've played, oh wow, there's a wither skeleton right there. I played, does he see me? I don't think he sees me. I play, I've played like mini games and stuff. What? Oh, and there's a, a magma cube and another... Wow! A magma cube and another wither skeleton over there. There's... Is that two wither skeletons? I'm afraid to come out of here. I think we're kind of high up. But yeah, I've, I've played, but I've played mini games and stuff, so... That's not quite the same, you know? You don't... You don't have to worry about the same basic needs and stuff. Okay, the, the the likelihood of him dro having dropped a skull was pretty slim, but I had to check. Anyway, let's get a little bit more quartz. Maybe, maybe we won't get an entire ring of of quartz off the bat. But uh, I'm gonna I'll poke around here a little bit. I might do a little bit of like less scary poking around, like in these caves and stuff. Uh, get a little bit more quartz, and then let's plan out just a little ring that we can use. Uh, to, to build the first idea of a house, okay? <laughs> Give me some more quartz, though! Alright, that should be enough. I actually popped over to the sphere generator that I used to make domes and... Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is so crazy! Uh, uh, to, yeah, but to the thing that I used to make circle-y things. And, uh, I think my little path is... Didn't I? Um, um... Bye, guys. <laughs> I'm not ready for this. Uh, but yeah, I went over to that thing and uh, I counted out how, like, I, I, oh, no. <laughs> it's not fair. I counted out how many blocks I need for the sphere that I want to make. Is this where I came in? Where is my... I totally... Okay, that's that's this is the this is where I came in. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> Holy cow! What the heck? <laughs> uh, okay, so I came in this way. Ah, uh, better plug up that hole, otherwise that's gonna happen again. Where, where did I? Where did I fall down? I don't know. I don't know anymore. <laughs> Jeez. I kind of made it safe back here because when I saw the. The what's my calls started to spawn. I was like, no. I think this is the way I came. Yes, yes. All right, and then I made like a little area here so that it, those wither skeletons couldn't surprise me, basically. Ah. <sighs> so anyway, twenty-eight blocks is what I needed, and 
Uh, so we've got that now. Man, oh man. What, a, what an ordeal. So we got 29 blocks. Let's get back to safety. I'm, I'm too old for this. Uh, oh, I didn't even realize there's like another whole side to that portal thing. Anyway, I'll be back in a second. Oh, ow. What the heck? What the heck? What the heck? What the heck? I need to... Wow, okay. Um, I don't really want to... If I go through through now or... No, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna leave, leave that for another time. What the heck? <sighs> hmm. Okay. <laughs> I will be right back. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. You look like a monkey and you smell like one too. It is morning. I just slept. It was raining, so we've got you know some mobs burning in the sun. <sighs> it's always so beautiful. Give me your flesh. To you, uh, and I've got the quartz blocks on us, so let's just decide where we want to put our little house. Uh, it's not anything too big, nothing too fancy. I'm just gonna slap it down, I think, and then we can worry about changing it later. I keep seeing strange apparitions. <laughs> There's something on the wing. All right, right, right here. Let's just do this, okay? Alright, so for those of you why I posted in episode one, I did post uh, kind of what I want to do, the idea of how it looks. Uh, let me think, is it, I think it's like this, and then I think it's like this. Uh, so I'm going to be making a bunch of like kind of dome looking houses, they're both going to be domes. And kind of like Jetson style houses, so they're going to be up on pillars, and also houses that are uh, potentially, yeah, that's, that's a nice little small sized house, right? Uh, so some of them are going to be just, like from here I could just go straight and make a little tiny little domed house. Some of them are going to have like two or three layers uh, of just straight up and then the dome, and some of them are going to be like... 20 layers of quartz and then the dome on top. Some of them are going to be like massive circles uh, out of quartz. And I'll probably, once I have plenty of quartz or, or creative mode so I can experiment, I'll probably do some kind of cool... You know what? You know... I like the size of this house, but it's got... I'm going to have to have double doors. I can't... I was... You know, I should have probably a five wide length here so I could have a single door in the middle of it. I could have double doors. And they might even be iron doors. Uh, I think it was Granny Gamer commented last episode. Who was, she was like, why don't you just make a door on your little cottage thing? Or your, your house in the wall in the mountain. And it's because the doors just tend to be zombie traps, you know? Like, they just draw a zombie to them. Uh, and that always annoys me. But... Uh, if I make an iron door, then I don't have to worry about that. So let's, and we've got plenty of iron now. Let's, let's get a little comfy in here. Bam! <laughs> Comfortable! Bam! Ooh! Three iron doors now. That's nice. Um, it's kind of weird to have a door opening into this mountain. Like, it seems like the door should open this way. Like, if there's a, a actual road, it would probably run here. But since all of my stuff is still in the mountain, I'm going to put it on this side for now. Uh, and then, of course, we don't have enough blocks yet to do another layer. So what I'll probably do is I might do smooth stone or I'll c cook up something. I'll find... Not, yeah, I need to really find a, a, a desert so that I can get some sand. I see some sand right there. So let's go grab, grab that. I could do it as sandstone, but... I don't want to waste a bunch of sand turning it into sandstone because uh, I probably want to use this mostly for glass. Uh, anyway, I'm going to do a little bit of work off camera and I'll bring you guys back when I've got maybe some walls up or something. <laughs> well, I am done. I have built our first little derpy house. I'm going to have to eventually come in here and clear, fill up all of these holes, I think. I, I keep almost running into, there's one right outside of my house. I come up from that hill and I almost always fall into this one right here. Haven't done it yet, and it wouldn't kill me, but eventually, that's going to get filled up. Anyway, bump, ba-da-da, there it is. 
It's so derpy looking. <sighs> so what what needs to happen for sure? One, it's it's taller. I mean, this is fine. I will leave it as it is. But in the future, I would like them to be a bit more rounded like that. And I don't... I'm going to have to figure... I'm going to have to play around a little bit, maybe in a creative world, uh, to, to figure out exactly how to get that shape going. Uh, it might just be because I did... I went up one, two, three, three blocks. Uh, so I think if I had just done it from the one block and hadn't done any like straight up blocks, it probably would look better. But then I'm not quite sure how the door would work. So building in circles, Dome City is going to be difficult. Uh, another thing, obviously it needs to be quartz because it looks stupid in stone. And then most of them have a little bit of color on the top. So I really need to find a mesa biome so I can get a decent amount of clay. Uh, I did, let's go inside, I did just do a little bit of flooring, uh, just, I had some extra stone, and then I had some, I think this is diorite or something, so I, I put that down, just some floor, and I put some windows in, I might also put in, like, a second story, like, if I had half slabs and put them here, there would be enough room up here to have a bedroom or storage, and then I could potentially put in another set of windows, because in most of the pictures that I have... Uh, there's a couple sets of windows, but that's that's basically the idea. So it's going to be varying shapes of that. I kind of want the window. It's annoying because this doesn't look good to me. I want the window to be up here, but because that's how it looks more. Maybe it would look better. You know what it is. Once it's all quartz, it might not look as odd. But the way that it looks right now, I don't like it. But if I had windows there and windows up there, maybe it would look okay. Anyway, that is the progress. Uh, also, if you haven't noticed already, I did get some new fan art uh, for the series. I got one that I'm using for my thumbnail, which is really awesome, of my character looking like a Dragon Ball Z character. You've probably seen it. It's on the thumbnail. Uh, and this was by Zach Jacobs. Uh, and I'm going to put his uh, link, the link to his YouTube, or his... DeviantArt page is going to be in the description of this video and probably every video that I use his thumbnails on. Uh, so check him out. Really cool. I love the piece of art. And then I, the closing, the outro piece that you're going to see in just a second uh, was done by SCE5HA. I don't know how to say that, but that was that's somebody on my Twitter, one of my Twitter followers, and I'm assuming somebody who also watches my videos, and it's m m me dressed up like future Trunks from Dragon Ball Z looking over a dome city. So it's like totally appropriate for for what I'm building. It made me really happy. I love both of the pieces, and in fact, I've got that second one of me looking over the, the city as like my desktop background now. <laughs> it's really cool. Oh, I planted some trees, so that'll look nice, I think, once it grows. I think it'll be cool. I think it'll look really neat once it's all done, and we've got a bunch of dis different varying heights of... of of dome cities and then we've got like some of the Jetson ones and just it's gonna be cool uh, but that's gonna be it for now thank you guys as always for watching I'm I'm really excited about this I love being excited about a, a new build project uh, I'm gonna have to clear out this mountain a little bit I don't want to terraform too much but right now it's driving me nuts uh, let's let's take it from I guess we'll get up here uh, huh, this is so difficult to do when you're facing this direction oh <laughs> <laughs> Alright, thank you guys as always for watching. My name is Vaughn, and I'll see you next time. Bye!